uh, I think the telcos are going through the biggest disruption in a generation. Array of new technologies that are converging. And what we have is a technological revolution. The global mobile data traffic is expected to grow by seven times between 2016 and 2021. I think that the most exciting revenue streams are from enterprises. The eSIM has proven to be a hot topic in the industry. It is the latest in the evolution of the SIM card and we believe it will cause a noticeable disruption to existing business models. Speaking to our customers about IoT, most of them are interested in eSIM and IoT solutions. The eSIM has several characteristics that the device manufacturers find highly beneficial. It's smaller, lighter and offers greater durability and can be sealed directly into devices, allowing them to be fully waterproof. We believe that these advantages will stimulate an uptake in the adoption of these technologies in the next one to two years, particularly in the automotive and fleet tracking verticals. So nonetheless, McKinsey and Company has reported that the traditional SIM card will still dominate the market for the next five years at least. The reason for this are twofold. Firstly, legacy technology is unable to be physically adjusted for eSIM and secondly, design changes are required in devices to accommodate the eSIM along with the R&D and market testing that goes with it. Because of this, the GSMA only expects to see a substantial revenue growth for the embedded SIM from 2022 onwards as it is introduced into new devices in the market. So, how will the gap between legacy systems and the new EUICC technology be bridged? The traditional SIM card can be loaded with the EUICC software, meaning that legacy technology can be retrofitted with the remote provisioning capabilities of the EUICC. The adoption of the EUICC into different verticals brings many rich and exciting opportunities for operators. Mobile devices are expected to increase to nearly 12 billion in the next five years, with mobile data traffic forecast to grow a whopping 700%. We believe that much of this growth will come from the business M2M market as the specifications are defined and are already in use in many industries. Enterprise customers place great value on quality of service and are willing to pay a premium for business continuity. We have been in business over 20 years supplying SIM cards and in addition we will now be able to provide eSIM production to mobile network operators and OEMs as well. We offer a, a variety of uh, chips, various industrial grades like the classic M2M, the industrial or the automotive uh, range. We offer a remote SIM provisioning solution that is compliant with the GSMA standard. We provide subscription management, data preparation and secure routing. We also offer a hosted solution, but of course we can also offer an on-premise solution if the need is there to have it on-site. We offer the operators a controlled environment, basically a sandbox where they can actually test the system and make sure that everything is implemented and interfaced or integrated into the business support systems so that there are no issues with the live implementation. So for operators to get started, it's actually the same as a normal SIM card. Um, we need to have the, the, you know, the, the network keys, transport keys, um, the, the data input files. We can then do the data preparation, build a profile um, and actually personalize this on a removable form factor so you can easily test it with um, existing devices. However, we can also do this with an eSIM, but then you can basically test the system with those uh, SIM cards. Works offers an independent uh, system that can basically work with any supplier operating system. So whether you use our operating system, whether you use our platform, it doesn't really matter. We're fender neutral and very cost efficient. I think what we've shown in the past as well is that we provide an excellent service to our customers and we will deliver in the timelines required according to your requirements. It's not just a revolution of technology, it's a revolution of ideas and attitudes. 
new way of creating value and that's actually where I think operators are like us has to be first in trying, trying and demonstrating different results. There's no other way to do this without the infrastructure of telcos and mobile. So you guys better get in the game.